Okay class, we're going to stop the fun and games for a minute. Um, we're moving on from filmmaking to mathematics and chemistry. So, as I announced about phew, a year ago, I'm going to start preparing for the move from black and white to colour. And in preparation for this, I went and bought a bunch of Colour Super 8, which requires ECN2 developing. Now ECN2, I did a bit of research, and uh, there's ECN2, there's C41, there's E6. E6 is a, is, is a reversal colour. ECN2 and C41 are negative colour systems. And because I've got 10 cartridges of stuff which says it needs ECN2, I started off by researching what you need to develop ECN2. Now it seems you can buy kits on the internet with everything you need packed up there for you in powder form or concentrate form or fully made up liquid developer bleach and fixer. Thing is they're a bit expensive and I look with a bit more research I discovered that you can mix it up yourself from the constituent chemicals. Now luckily some considerate people out there have posted the recipes for ECN2 which is this lot. Uh, water, preferably distilled water, sodium sulfide, potassium bromide, sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, something called CD3 which I'll get to in a minute and then after developer you need to get the stuff for the bleach which is uh, you can make with potassium ferrocyanide, sodium bromide and then the fixer, now I thought I could just use my Ilford rapid fixer, but I'm not taking any chances here. So I'm gonna go with what some bloke on the internet says, sodium thiosulfate and potassium metabisulfite. And for good measure, they put up a Remjet pre-bath recipe. Now I've been doing Remjet pre-baths and it didn't have all this stuff in it, but they say this is a good recipe. I don't know, they say this does the, uh, does the job. So it's water, borax, sodium sulfate, sodium hydroxide, which is also known as lye. Now, I'm not lying when I say that all this stuff, when you buy it in ready-made kit form, comes to something like 75 pounds for three liters. Well, since I've got a modicum of experience, I'd rather just mix it all up myself. But how much cheaper is it to mix up yourself than to buy it already made. Well, we're gonna do the crunching here. We're gonna do some number crunching. And it's tricky because obviously the constituent parts of the ECN developer are in small amounts like two grams, 1.4 gram. These are all per, for one liter, by the way. 25 gram, you can't buy these components in these amounts. Obviously, you've gotta buy it in bigger amounts and then measure it out. So I made a spreadsheet and I started off with the dosage per liter, which is um, the data available on the internet. And here, the, here's the amount you get in each packet of this stuff. So here's the amount you get in each packet. And all this data, by the way, I have gleaned from eBay. Excuse me one minute. <laughs> Fucking cat allergy. How long do cats live? That's how long I'm gonna be sneezing. Okay, this is how much of all this stuff you need for a liter of ECN2 developer. I've got all these figures for the bleach and the fixer and everything, but we'll concentrate on developer just to show you how my process went. And here's the amount you get in each packet. And if we move it along a bit, here's how much each packet costs in pounds. I'm in the UK, all these prices are in pounds. I'm gonna show you how I worked all this out. So that's how much there is in a packet. Now, take the amount in each packet and divide it by the amount you need in each liter. And this will show you how many doses of this are in this for one liter. So if we have two grams of sodium sulfite and there's 250 grams in a packet, that comes to 125 doses in one packet of 250 grams of sodium sulfide. And I did this down right across the board. So in a, in a 100 gram packet of potassium bromide, we get 71.42 
doses. Now these numbers are very important because I then take the uh, price of a packet in pounds, I divide it by the number of one litre doses in that packet and I get the really crucial data here which is how much it costs for making up a single litre of ECN2. So basically one litre of ECN2 will cost 70 p's worth of distilled water, uh, only 4 p's worth of sodium sulphite, 10 p of potassium bromide, 40 p of potassium carbonate anhydrous, uh, only 2 p of sodium bicarbonate, that stuff's cheap, and here 2 pounds 8, this is the key ingredient which is something called CD3. And CD3, not the easiest thing to get hold of, especially because it's uh, a bit toxic and there are rules and laws against transporting it, especially from America. Even if you're in America, it can't be shipped by air. Luckily, I was pointed towards a uh, guy in Germany who does CD3, uh, which apparently stands for Color Developer 3. And uh, he does it for uh, equivalent of um, 26, 26 pounds three for 50 grams. And while we're on the subject of acronyms, ECN2 actually stands for Eastman Color Negative 2. So there's our interesting fact for the day. Anyway, let's get to the money shot, literally. For each one liter of developer, I worked out all of these, it's gonna cost me this much. And that comes to three pounds 34 which is not bad at all if you think about it, for a litre of ECN2 colour developer. Try and find pre-made ECN2 for £3.34, you can't. It's always going to be cheaper to buy the constituent chemicals and to mix it up yourself. And we just, I just went ahead and did the same with the bleach. Potassium ferrocyanide, you need 40 grams of it for a litre of bleach. And it comes in 250 gram packets. 250 grams costs uh, 18.94, not particularly cheap. So it'll make 6.25 liters, and that comes out to three pounds three pence worth of potassium ferrocyanide, plus one pound eight for the sodium bromide, and that comes out to four pounds 81 for a liter of bleach. The fixer came to three pounds 23 for one liter of bleach. And finally, I thought, well, there was, I found there was the Remjet pre-bath. I'm going to factor that in as well. Uh, and that came to £2.56 for a litre of Remjet pre-bath. And that all comes out to £13.94, which is approximately half the price of uh, pre-made chemicals. And of course, the benefit of all that is that you can reuse this stuff. The uh, current wisdom seems to be that you could do 12 35 millimeter films. So I'm thinking at least um, two or three runs of Super 8 cartridges by one batch of all of this stuff. Now, of course, I'm not just spending £13.94, that's for only one litre, because I had to buy all these uh, larger amounts of each, of each packet of this stuff. Basically, I spent £48.97 on all those developing chemicals, £28.34 on all the bleach chemicals, uh, £10.84 for all the uh, fixed chemicals, and £20.45 for all the Remjet pre-bath chemicals, which comes to a grand total of £108.60. On the plus side, I am probably going to be pretty well sorted for colour developing for quite a while. So I'm good for at least 12 litres of, of developer. Um, bleach, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out of bleach at six and a quarter litres. Uh, I'm going to be able to make four litres of fixer with all of that. The Remjet pre-bath, five litres of that at least. So, uh, so that's the number crunch. I'm going to put a link in the video description so you can download it yourself. I don't know, call me a geek, but I actually enjoyed crunching these numbers quite a lot. It was uh, quite satisfying to, um, to set it all out and work out exactly how much I'm spending and everything. But that's about all. I'm afraid there's no um, sort of uh, funny fooling about with cameras today because this is the uh, serious financial implications of uh, de going to develop colour. Oh, I long for the old days of just whacking the film into uh, a bucket of coffee and washing soda. 
uh, those were simpler times. I've still got all the uh, coffee and washing soda and I've still got all loads of black and white films. But to get to the next level, this is the kind of data I uh, needed to gather. And that's it. I will be back with um, more news and uh, results from my colour developing. Oh, I got some nice bit of kit for the colour developing. Okay, I'll uh, see you on the other side. Bye bye. <laughs>